We're continuing to monitor the streets and highways out there as this winter storm moves through. Alan, I got a picture from a friend. This isn't, is this fog or is this a snowburst or when you can't see, you it's know. blowing snow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Snow coming through. We have north winds 15, 25 miles per hour. Uh, we started this morning, unfortunately, with a little bit of freezing drizzle. So again, it looks like this is fog. That's snow that's uh, floating down across northern Oklahoma here. Uh, that's the view from downtown. Here's a gathering place. And you can kind of see snow coming down, covering the ground here in northern Oklahoma. This is the view now from Jinx. This has changed a lot in the last 30 minutes, hasn't it here? Snow covering the ground. And remember, on top of this, we do have a little bit of freezing uh, precipitation that fell earlier this morning on the bridges and overpasses. They were quite slick and hazardous between the 4 and 5, 530 time period. Now the snow on top of it. This is mostly a morning event. What does that mean? Over the next couple of hours, and let's say around 11 to the northern areas is going to move out and then it'll stick around for a couple of hours in southeastern Oklahoma before ending as well. We're going to get you straight into the rest of the forecast here and we'll check the radar in a second for you. Saturday, sunny in 46. Sunday, windy in 65. Seven day summary, I'll show you in a minute here. Uh, we have some 70 degree weather right around the corner. Travel advisories, southern Kansas, northern eastern Oklahoma. If you're watching or listening, you're included. The advisory is set to expire in southern Kansas at noon today, but we'll continue on until 6 across eastern Oklahoma, especially in the southeastern sections. The radar, so this band from Fairland and Miami and Veneta and Bartlesville, right back down to Pawnee to Stillwater. So this is strengthening right now. We have moderate snow bands that are starting to pick up. This entire area, these bands are moving east, but this entire area of snow will start to sink a little bit more to the south over the next couple of hours. We give you that heads up on the leading edge of this and along and south of I-40. Some precipitation will start as free freezing drizzle, maybe a little bit of rain, sleet, that'll freeze on contact on those elevated surfaces. In the metro, moderate snow, Broken Arrow to Keystone to Manford to Bristow and the Old Mulgee area, that's moving east, that'll move into places like Pryor and Shoto and Little Kansas, Tahlequah, you got some snow coming down. Tim Crone is in the Collinsville area. Uh, you can see his shot there. Uh, Von Caster, again, Jinx, and uh, looking, um, he's right there at um, El Peoria exit, uh, right on on, uh, basically the Creek Nation Turnpike and he's looking to the west and JD McManus. Boy, let's check out JD. JD, your winds have picked up a little bit here. Yeah, blowing snow. How are your conditions this morning around the Wagner area? Yeah, I'm up here at the uh, <clears throat> Whitehorn Cove area on Highway 69 and it's really starting to come down. The winds picked up out of the north and visibility is down uh, below a quarter of a mile. So and the roads are starting to get slick as well. So if you have to get out and travel this morning, man, I hope you got extra time to get there. It's going to take a minute. Thank All you. right. Appreciate it. Uh, Bob Roloff, uh, Stephen Aarons is near the Owasso area. And you can see that snow is starting to come down. What's our timeline look out uh, for today? Uh, it's really right now through mid morning is going to be these bursts of moderate to occasionally heavy snow uh, around the Tulsa Metro specifically. Notice after mid morning towards late morning, chances diminish pretty quickly. The dry air will kind of start to eat away at the northern edge of those snow bands and push them pretty far south. Now, there'll still be some lingering light snow and some flurries into the midday, early afternoon hours around Tulsa, but really it's now through mid to late morning is our main window for snow, but it'll accumulate a couple inches pretty quickly in spots. Temperatures will try to bounce back by the end of the day, especially north of Tulsa. Uh, the, the skies are going to try to clear a little bit, and if that happens, we'll try to bump back above freezing, but we'll stay in the 20s as long as the snow is falling this morning in wind chills, teens and single digits, those strong north winds. So as all Always, the cold often kind of gets overlooked sometimes when we're talking about the snow, but uh, you, you need to be really bundled up this morning as well. General one to two inch snowfall mats expected, kind of paralleling the I-44 corridor down south to near I-40, but there could be some isolated three inch amounts within there. Uh, further north, uh, the snow is already starting to taper off pretty quickly near the Oklahoma Kansas State line, so snow mats uh, not a whole lot more expected there. Then there'll be a little area that may have some lighter amounts closer to a half an inch or an inch from I-40 to the south. And then an additional kind of isolated heavy band is possible in far southeastern Oklahoma as well. So, you know, we're not talking huge amounts, but enough to cause travel impacts. 24 degrees, a wind chill of 11 right now as you're stepping out the door. So, again, those temperatures and wind chill values 
Just a reminder, those are going to be rough to deal with this morning on top of the snow that is falling across all of eastern Oklahoma or that will eventually encompass, I should say, all of eastern Oklahoma. So deal with the cold wind. There's just a quick view here. Notice we get towards lunchtime early afternoon and that moves away from the Tulsa Metro and uh, mostly is impacting southeastern portions of the viewing area. And then by late afternoon, early evening, the system's pretty much out of the state. Tomorrow morning, we start off in the teens, so we'll probably have some refreezing overnight, but then highs tomorrow in the 40s. And and right on cue, a big bounce back Sunday into Monday with much warmer temperatures returning.